Let's start with the cloning of the current variant. Now I add a new chart to the report just like that. Points are what we want to see on the horizontal axis. So I need to add the period here. Series is the lines we want to see on the diagram. I want each material to be shown as a separate line, so I add the material here. And the value I want to be shown is item cost, so I need to add it to selected fields. I go to chart settings, selected fields, and this auto checkbox means that this settings is inherited from the report, where all these fields are selected. I don't want all of them, so I go back to chart, deselect this auto checkbox, and add the only field I need. Then I go to the other settings tab and change the diagram type from column 3D to line. Let's see what it looks like. I select the new variant, create, and this is our diagram. So now we can see the history of the item cost changes over time, separately for each material. The only thing I don't like about this diagram is that the time axis contains gaps. The first point is in March, then May and then September. In other words, the time axis dots go irregularly. The duration of time between two nearby dots are different, which hinders the data perception. Ok, let's fix it. I go to the variant settings, double click the period, and here is a setting called edition type. I go inside of it and tell the data composition scheme that I want it to show one dot every week. Ok. Now the time axis dots are going in regular intervals. Now let's give a user an opportunity to specify the period of time he wants to see the data for. If we open the query with the query builder, we will see that the virtual table we use has two parameters, beginning of period and end of period. The data composition scheme knows it and adds these parameters to the list. To make them accessible to a user, I go to Settings, Report Level, Parameters, and then press this Custom Settings button. Now I tell the platform to include this parameter into the Custom Settings and do the same with another one. OK. Now a user can specify the time interval using these two input fields. Let's select the period from the beginning of August to today. Create the report and now we see the data for the selected interval only.